Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are making this like a wavy flower. I got this idea from watching a video about plugging for Blender. That is really cool. Actually, I haven't tried out this plugin, but uh, I can tell it's like super awesome. And I tried to use geometry node to do something that close to this effect so flower is the result I got and in the next tutorial will also be something similar effect but different approach and I think it's a very interesting one so shout out to Alpha Magenta to share this awesome plugin so this will be the final result for this tutorial and sorry for the sound in the tutorial, sometimes it might sound like a robot because uh, during the recording, the I think I run out of the RAM, so the sound the sound will be weird. So I apologize for that, and uh, let's get into the tutorial. So we don't need this, and take a sphere, echo sphere, dual mesh. And extrude mesh. Okay, and delete geometry. And set it to face and take the top face. So we will have this nice hole. We will grow flower from this. So this uh, each tube is demonstrate the thickness, the smallest part of a flower, the stick of the flower, so set it to quite small. That's for now, but just make sure you already delete the face and subdivide it, maybe like uh, twice and take this to all the way up. Just leave a little. And we want to take this origin point, which is zero, 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 and calculate it to the top or every uh, tips of the two to calculate the distance. So we can use this number to bloom the flower. Use a vector math and set it to distance, okay? And we transfer attribute vector, and we take this and uh, position. Plug this to. So we will use this later, and we set position. So we take a vector math and because we want to make it like a open so it's go along with the normal so plug this and set it to multiply so now try to plug this in right away the number is too big so we have to tone it down so take a flow curve take this down so you see we kind of have this and take this to lower so yeah and we can take this to high so something here make make it looks like a flower so this part including this it's a like a base can frame this okay and from here it's level one Because we will have a three layer, we make a basic shape. 
like a flower. Second, we will make it have this kind of wavy. And third, we will have a smaller wave on the edge of the flower. Okay, so subdivide this in each level we will subdivide one time so now let's make a second layer level two Basically, we can copy this. But now we want to use some ways to uh, affect this area. So to play this, and use sign. to try to trick this. So now we have this movement. And if we apply to an individual index, it will be like um, a weight. So. so now the effect is kind of like uh, too powerful. So we will like uh, take a Take a math and uh, set it to scale. And turn this scale down a little. And the face is kind of like uh, not enough. So first we can take this like to two. And we make a subdivide one at the end and set smooth. Take a math, set it to multiply, and just tweak this to a number that you think looks fine. And you might want to tweak a little like this, you know, it give it give some different result. So now we have like this kind of wavy effect. If you set it to multiply add and tweak the add, so the scale will affect like how strong this level going to be. That is the level two. And the level three will be even easier. Just take this whole thing and we group them. Command G. Press the tab button to get out and duplicate this to name it like a, a level 3. And plug in. And duplicate this. Just plug in. The power is too strong, so we have to make some variable that we can change outside. So we will like have this power 
it's a cost scale. We can duplicate this to here because it's closer, so we don't, we don't have to drag the cable so long. So scale, okay. Have this and also this. We can rename that wave offset. And this to be so we can take the power down. And in this level, we can set it to level two. Now we have a lot of detail. Actually, we have four level. Base is kind of like a level zero. And the first shape will be level one and level two level three right it depends on what kind of shape you are going to make um, you can give each level have different kind of uh, subdivision usually I will give the level three like two and the other that could be like one and we can because you could you see the wave is like go all the way down if that isn't what you want you can tweak a little to make it like not go too much to the center or if you really don't want it to go anywhere further beside only the edge we can do something else edge neighbors and we compare that first set to integer and B to 1 and plug that in so now it's only affecting the very edge it will not go anywhere down so now we basically have the effect just have to tweak quite a lot to see how you like maybe like this kind of like a vegetable it looks even more like a vegetable like this and we also can give it a power scale and actually you can make a wavy in a level one as well just to do some math kind of like this to connect here we can do something with the base so we take a set position and we can go over here plug that back and we only want to affect the top area so when we take this up each cable is kind of like go up the flower is going crazy because this comparing center is here so like when we take out it will be like too far away the effect will be too strong either way we can like do something like this we can take the center up there is a lot of like of math you can to between this number that maybe you can have a slider that just like get the final result that you're looking for but that's not the purpose of this tutorial so I just show you like which is the main part that you can control so that's the comparing part center and that's the offset you can and you don't have to just go up you can go xyz you can have different direction you can and uh, let's do some material so let's make a material first and send it to any number just to show
So we have to take uh, actually just kind of like just one attribute. That's the distance. Take that out. And just call it this. And go to the modifier section. Name it this. Okay, so let's work with material. Attribute this. Let's see how it looks like. Okay, we got this. We can use this to have like the flower have a different layer of color. So the easiest way is color ramp. Duplicate that. Let's make two. And we don't. We we'll just leave here to do some final control, and we use this as color. And the shim is kind of important. Set it to higher. It's kind, kind of like flower. Usually looks a little bit like this. Higher and the subsurface are important too because flower has subsurface. We can use this to control that because the bottom side actually is thicker, so it kind of don't have the subsurface or just a little. And the top side is like more one more very important uh, thing we can give that. It's the ambient occlusion, so we can mix that because we use the AO, so just don't use the green because we don't want the green go the dark like a folding area, and we can use uh, another layer to apply that. And mix this too and take this to bring and shift that use a hue to um, control it like the final me so you can just like just mess around with and then we can use some modifier like uh, mm, 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 solidify to give some thickness depending on how thick you like and uh, I want in the final render to give us subdivide one more smooth out and also the roughness you can use and this is the final result so hope you make a beautiful flower see you next time subscribe bye bye